Tonight, this is the first first death penalty case in Colorado Springs in more than a decade. News 5's Andy Cohen tells us it could be a lengthy trial mm -hmm. and the county and the court system have been spending money preparing for this extra work. Andy, yeah, they sure have Elizabeth. The county and the court system actually had to remodel one of the courtrooms where this case is going to be heard in order to seat a larger jury. Now the trial could last as long as three to four months. The court wanted to have six alternates just in case any of the jurors got sick or had some other emergency that might prevent them from carrying out their civic duty. Expect some company if you're headed to the courthouse Thursday. Lawyers will be interviewing hundreds of people for jury duty in the city's first death penalty case in more than a decade. Generally you need a larger alternate pool uh, in order to successfully get through the case. Um, so that's why you're going to have a larger jury with a second case. Rather than the standard 12 jurors plus two alternates, the court will seat 18 people in this case. The four extra alternates are needed because of the length of the trial. Prospective jurors will be processed by groups of 150 people at a time, twice a day over the course of four days between now and next Friday. It's a big enough change that some remodeling was needed. Uh, we worked with the state courts administrator and uh, they provided the materials necessary and then the county uh, maintenance and facilities staff uh, did the labor over there. The court also upgraded its audio and video equipment and made other technology upgrades in anticipation of this trial. Grand total for all the work, around $50,000. The county is encouraging people who receive a jury summons to use one of their parking garages rather than looking for a metered space on the street. It only costs $2 for the day that you're called, and then if you are actually assigned to a jury, the court will give you a slip and it is free to park there during the duration of the trial. The last criminal suspect to be charged with capital murder in Colorado Springs was Marco Lee. He was sentenced to life in prison after pleading guilty to the shooting death of Springs police officer Ken Jordan back in 2007. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Andy Cohen, News 5.